Hello. Miss Minolte? Yes, thanks. Hello, good morning. Yes, it's, it's John Sinclair here from the... We haven't spoken before. I know you've been dealing with a colleague of mine, Graham. We're going to put our decision on hold for six months. I know that's a reversal of policy. We have had a change of heart. Right. We don't need to give a reason, to be honest. I, I'm, d I'm just not quite clear as to the why's and wherefore, and, and I'm left still with my cracks and my feeling, etc. So I don't understand why you would take that decision. It's for the people that you, you put into my house to do the work. They were... Atrocious. I think you're over-exaggerating a, a little bit, Mrs McNulty, well, if you don't mind me well, saying so. Well, Mr Sinclair, you weren't here. You haven't been in my house. And you didn't see the standard of work. Are you a builder? But that's besides the point, Mr Sinclair. You know, I still have a crack in my ceiling. The polyfiller? Well, Mr Sinclair, no. I'm not intending to go up and start uh, cutting out, digging out grooves in the ceiling to polyfiller it, to then paint it. Why should I do that when the workmen that you put in place haven't done a job? At the moment, there's quite a strain on our department. There are a lot of claims mm -hmm. to be answered. I have my policy with you. You put people in place to carry out work in my home. It's not correct. You haven't seen it. You're making statements and you, um, you haven't seen the work done. You're telling me I should live with this or I should polyfill it. I'm sorry, Mr. Sinclair. I've offered you my considered opinion, which you're obviously... To not... polyfill it myself. That's your considered opinion. You suggest I actually polyfill my ceiling. A job's only worth doing if you're willing to do it yourself. Well, I don't, Mr. Sinclair. And since it's my lounge, and since you haven't seen it, since it's across my ceiling, I'm not filling it with polyfiller. Well, if we were to supply the polyfiller and sheeting... Mr. Sinclair, are you from some organisation, are you having a laugh? I beg your pardon? You've got to be having a joke here. I'm willing to supply ladders, ground sheeting and polyfiller. That's magnanimous of you. If you polyfiller, paint, uh-huh. I don't know if we can stretch to the paint. Well, you don't. Well, I mean, what happens? I'm left with a white line down the middle of the ceiling. You are having a laugh, Mr Sinker. I'm sorry, you're just not on. What's your position there? Well, I'm a regional assessor. Right. Scotland and the north of England. Right. Well, I'm sorry. You're not on. No. I don't accept that. So you're not willing to cooperate with the society? I know. I will cooperate with the society when the society is reasonable. I am not going to do work myself. So you expect me to say, right, darling, you know, just we'll go ahead and do this. We'll carry on with this work. I'm sorry, Mr Sinclair. This, this conversation is not on. I expect this work to be done complete, to be completed. But do you want me to withdraw that offer? I expect you to complete the work as, as already agreed. And you're not the willing, you're not willing at the moment to, to help us out. And I'm, help you. you're definitely having a laugh. I'm offering to get the polyfiller for you. <laughs> you have got to be joking. <laughs> You can get the polyfiller and you can fill in, put fill it in your ears because you're not listening to me. <laughs> I'm, I'm listening to you, Rosemary, I am. Who are you? Look, I'll come round with Alison Gill. <laughs> I'm going to kill her. <laughs> I'm going to kill her. The Real Radio Breakfast Show, we'll get up that ladder for you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll sort your ceiling out for you, darling. <laughs> I'm going to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you like to come up and fix that ceiling, you're more than welcome. <laughs> <laughs> it's Robin Galloway. It's <laughs> real